Three quarts of milk. That was what was in that ice box yesterday. Three whole quarts. Now there ain't none. Not a drop. I don't mind folks coming in and getting what they want, but three quarts of milk? What the devil does anybody need with three quarts of milk? The folks my mother was referring to was Pecola. The three of us, Pecola, Frida, and I, listened to her downstairs in the kitchen, fussing about the amount of milk Pecola had drunk. We knew she was fond of the Shirley Temple cup and took every opportunity to drink milk out of it just to handle and see sweet Shirley's face. My mother knew that Frida and I hated milk and assumed Pecola drank it out of greediness. It was certainly not for us to dispute her. We didn't initiate talk with grown-ups. We answered their questions. Ashamed of the insults that were being heaped on our friend, we just sat there. I picked toe jam, Frida cleaned her fingernails with her teeth, and Pecola finger traced some scars on her knee, her head cocked to one side. My mother's fussing soliloquies always irritated and depressed us. They were interminable, insulting, and although indirect, Mama never named anybody, just talked about folks and some people, extremely painful in their thrust. She would go on like that for hours, connecting one offense to another, until all of the things that chagrined her were spewed out. Then, having told everybody and everything off, she would burst into song and sing for the rest of the day. But it was such a long time before the singing part came. In the meantime, our stomachs jellying and our necks burning, we listened, avoided each other's eyes, and picked toe jammer, whatever. I don't know what I'm supposed to be running here. A charity ward, I guess. Time for me to get out that giving line and get into that getting line. I guess I'm supposed to have nothing. I'm supposed to end up in the poorhouse. Look like nothing I do is gonna keep me out of there. Folks just spend all their time trying to figure out ways to send me to the pool house. I got about as much business with another mouth to feed as a cat has with side pockets. As if I don't have trouble enough trying to feed my own and keep out the pool house, now I got something else in here that's just going to drink me on in there. Well, no, she ain't. Not as long as I got strength in my body and a tongue in my head. There's a limit to everything. I ain't got nothing to just throw away. Don't nobody need three quarts of milk. Henry Ford don't need three quarts of milk. That's just downright sinful. I'm willing to do what I can for folks. Can't nobody stop ain't. But this has got to stop. And I'm just one to stop it. Bible says, watch as well as pray. Folks just dump their children off on you and go on about their business. Ain't nobody even peeped in here to see whether that child has a loaf of bread. Looked like they would just peep in here to see whether I had a loaf of bread to give her. But no, that, that thought don't cross their mind. That old trifling Charlie. Been out of jail two whole days and ain't been here yet to see if his own child was alive or dead. She could be dead for all he knew. And that mama neither. What kind of something is that? When Mama got around to Henry Ford and all those people who didn't care whether she had a loaf of bread, it was time to go. We wanted to miss the part about Roosevelt and the CCC camps. And here I am, poor as a bowl of yakmi. What do they think I am? Some kind of Santa Claus? Well, they can just take their stocking now because it ain't Christmas. Let's do something. What do you want to do? I don't know. Nothing. You want to go up to Mr. Henry's room and look at his girly magazines? You could look at his Bible. That's pretty. You could go thread needles for the half blind lady. She'll give us a penny. Her eyes look like snot. I don't feel like looking at them. What are you going to do, Pagola? I don't care. Anything you want. We could go up the alley and see what's in the trash cans. Too cold. I know. We can make some fudge. <coughs> you kidding? With mom in there fussing? When she starts fussing at the walls, you know she's going to be at it all day. She wouldn't even let us. Well, let's go over to the Greek Hotel and listen to them cuss. Who wants to do that? Besides, they say the same old words all the time. Bible said feed the hungry. That's fine. That's all right. But I ain't feed no elephants. Anybody need three quarts of milk to live in need to get out of here. 
They in wrong place. What is this? Some kind of dairy farm? Uh, what's the matter with you? We both looked where Piccola was staring. Blood was running down her legs. Some drops were on the steps. I leaped up. Hey, you cut yourself. Look, it's all over your dress. Oh, Lordy, I know. I know what that is. What? That's ministrating. What's that? You know. I'm going to die? No, you won't die. It just means you can have a baby. What? How do you know? Mildred told me, and Mama also. I don't believe it. You don't have to, dummy. Look, wait here. Sit down, Pecola, right here. And you, you go get some water. Water? Yes, stupid, water. And be quiet or Mama will hear you. What you want, girl? Some water, ma'am. <clears throat> right where I'm working, naturally. Well, get a glass. Not no clean one, neither. Use that jar. Don't nobody never want nothing till they see me at the sink. Then everybody got to drink some water. Where are you going? Outside. Drink that water right here. I ain't going to bring nothing. You don't know what you're going to do? Yes, ma'am, I do. Let me take it out. I won't spill none. You bet not. What are you crying for? Does it hurt? Then stop slinging snot. What's that supposed to do? You told me. You said get some water. Not a little jar full. Lots of water to scrub the steps with, dumbbell. How was I supposed to know? Yeah, how was you? Come on, let's go back here. Hey, what about me? I want to go. Shut up. Mama will hear you. Wash the steps. That night, in bed, the three of us lay still. We were full of awe and respect for Piccola, lying next to a real person who was really ministrating, was somehow sacred. She was different from us now, grown up like. She herself felt the distance, but refused to lord it over us. Is it true that I can have a baby now? Sure, sure you can. But how? Oh, somebody has to love you. Oh. How do they do that? I mean, how do you get somebody to love you? <laughs> Part one. <laughs>